all right welcome to the brand new module azure front door it's gonna be a high level overview about what azure front door offers and how you could integrate with your app services or for that matter any of your application sitting on microsoft or beyond microsoft stack so before getting on to the definition so by the definition it's a globally scalable entry point that uses microsoft global edge network to create fast secure and widely scalable web application what does that mean so before getting into definition feature pricing let's take a wide example on how front door kind of plays an important could play an important role into our tech stack or infrastructure world so let's suppose you are one of the users sitting into any part of the world be it india africa asia or from any part of the asia or europe could be anywhere in the world now you want to access a website which is probably hosted in your us region somewhere in seattle somewhere and it's an e-commerce website which which probably offers you a lot of uh, gym equipments and a lot of other um, fitness related stuff and you want to order something now this folk who is sitting in out in india wants to reach out to this dub 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 dot fitness xyz dot com and he wants to order a fitness watch now when he or she hits the request what happens is it goes through multiple routes so it goes through the network i internet service provider locally which means it routes from india all the way to us though in the back end we don't understand don't know what is happening but it's a long hop it's often long networking routing which takes place and if there are any issues with isps be it india or europe or wherever your application is hosted in this case it's us if there are any latency or any issues with the local internet service provider it it is going to have latency however uh, users sitting into the us region or seattle region not going to face any issues because they are able to connect to the application because they are kind of sitting in the same network and the the routes are not that long and there are no hops and they're able to reach out to the website pretty fast that's not an ideal solution because there are long running hops and you don't want to uh, go through all of the hops uh, and get the latency that's not fair at all now with front door what happens is uh, you've got multiple whenever you deploy your application Mike what Microsoft does is to all the these are all the pop location and sitting into different location could be Asia Europe India Africa Northern America Mike as soon as you deploy your application Microsoft deploys all the pops point of presence as soon uh, your application to all of these pops as soon as you deploy your application so next time when a user coming from India wants to access this website he or she doesn't have to reach out to the website directly with the long running hops rather that 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 person would reach out to the nearest pop point of presence and that pop would serve the request and that's this time it's going to be uh, faster and with without any latency with very less latency and a user would be happy because of the response time it's fast response time so what happens here is there's a warm connection gets reused so there are already cached happened in the spot location and there are warm connection which gets reused and make your connection more faster which means your application is more robust and highly performant uh, personalized modern application with uh, contents that reach the global audience throughout the Microsoft network that's a that's a pretty effective solution when you want to serve your customers with acceleration platform and make sure that your uh, your application is scalable and uh, without any latency it's being served to your customer so as your front door is a secure global entry point for your web application so before user hits your web application as your front door is uh, sitting in front of you and it's uh, delivering all the content and cloud services uh, via it works in a, a http and https and layer 7 protocol using any cast protocol with uh, split tcp and microsoft's global network to improve uh, the global community so one of the feature is it's an application acceleration platform at microsoft edge solution 
uh, it it in integrates with app services that's what we're gonna do in the demo it's coming up in the next uh, lecture it integrates with a lot of other features as well other uh, store like storage and functions a lot of other cool stuff um, it, it offers masses massive SSL offloading and uh, static content caching so whenever you request uh, high content be it a video streaming platform or any of those online streaming platform what front door does is it's cache all the uh, content for you and serve it without any latency as we saw in the previous diagram uh, global HTTP load balancing and DDoS protection is by default there so your your users are protected from any of the your application is protected from any of the DDoS or SQL injection or malicious attack you could have uh, rules bases on geolocation uh, and you could have a uh, routing rules as well you can ensure that your front door will route your uh, client request to the fastest and more, uh, most available backend and uh, you kind of have a geo filtering as well which means uh, by default all your request uh, Azure front door would allow all the requests coming from any of the geographical location however in some of the scenario you might want to restrict the access to your web application by certain location or region and Azure front door enables to you to define those policy using custom access tools for a specific path that's the high level um, architecture you have your user setting and they want to uh, route through the internet and as soon as they hit your website www.xyz.com it first goes to the Azure front door now Azure front door checks that from which location the user is coming from and based on the uh, protocol and routing rules it's gonna make sure that it takes your request to the nearest available pop so that your 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 application is being served to your customers at a very fast connection rate Top features, um, uh, scalable uh, and secure entry point for fast uh, delivery of your global application. If you're looking for a solution wherein you want minimal downtime, if your, your SLA, you've promised your customers with an SLA of 99.99% or somewhere near that, you should strongly, we should recommend, we recommend you to uh, look at as your front door. Uh, it's uh, uses uh, priority routing it automatically fails over if the primary region become unavailable it uh, supports uh, routing, routing rule which means different kind of routing rule methods to determine how to route your HTTP or HTTPS to different point to make sure requests are routed to the best backend instance uh, it uses session affinity and uh, support custom certificate and custom TSL as well it works at layer 7 as I told you on HTTP and HTTPS using any cache protocol with split TCP and Microsoft Global's network to improve global connectivity because uh, as soon as you hit the front door now you're into the Microsoft network and you could just leverage the any cast uh, protocol uh, with with hundred of pop location which Microsoft uh, internally has uh, pushed and you could use those pop locations to serve your customers better it's not a new tool it's it's been there in the industry and Microsoft has been using front door internally for one of their majority of their application which we use as well be it exchange OneDrive teams office Bing uh, Skype Xbox so all of them uses Azure front door to cache uh, and and serve the request to the customers before we end the video let's look at the pricing uh, surprising so kind of varies however it's pretty straightforward you pay for the outbound data transfer data going out of your front door pop to the client we talked about pops and any of the request which goes from the pop to the client uh, gets charged you get charged also for inbound and routing rules uh, so you've got multiple zones like these are your failover zone uh, your active active and active passive so you've got two failover zones zone one and zone two for zone one you got to pay uh, beyond the first uh, 10 TB you got to pay a point one two seven per GB which is pretty normal and so and so forth for uh, for other region and then you pay for routing rules pretty uh, nominal rate 0 0.023 uh, euros per hour and um, and so on and so forth you've got multiple other pricing options as well which you couldn't find from Azure 
pricing calculator. That's it for now. I hope this was informative. This was important for us to get started with Azure front door. Um, just to give you a recap again, um, it's, it's a single secure global entry point for your web application uh, so that your uh, users are uh, established, users are getting served and, and there's a security and their DDoS uh, uh, restrictions and all those routing rules you could put using the front door. Uh, if you want looking for a solution wherein you want make sure that your application is highly available and scalable and every time uh, is available for your customers with minimal downtime as your front door is for you i hope this was informative again and i'll see you in a while with the demo thank you